Did you know that every week ESPN is flashing back to some of the most significant games in NBA Finals history? And tonight is a Kobe night. Taking a look at the last two titles that he won. We're going to start with Game 5 in 2009. That's Kobe's Lakers taking on the Orlando Magic era Dwight Howard crew at 7 o'clock Eastern. And then brace yourself, Paul. I'm sorry about this, but it's Game 7 in 2010. Kobe and the Lakers oh again gosh. taking on, yes, <clears throat> Paul Don't KG and the rest of the Celtics. <laughs> well, Paul, we thought oh, this would be a good goodness. chance to break down Kobe's titles and do a little what if, right? Look and see what had happened if history had fallen a little differently. So, Paul, I'm going to give you, I I'm going to have today be the best day of your life. What if you had won <laughs> that game seven in 2010 that we're replaying tonight? What if, in fact, Kobe had never won the 2009 title either? If KG never got hurt that year or, say, LeBron. Bronze Cavs, right, that won, I think, 66 games that year, have been a little better in the playoffs. What if Kobe had never won in 2009 or 2010 without Shaq? How, Paul, do you think his legacy would be different? Oh, it would have been a huge difference. I think we would have questioned, could Kobe be the best player on a championship team? I mean, we know he played with the most dominant player, but that was the question. Could he win without Shaq? And that's what he wanted to prove to himself. And that's the reason, you know, Shaq was shipped out to Miami and other destinations. Because Kobe had something, he had a chip on his shoulder. He wanted to show everybody that he could be that guy. And, and he, he went out there and proved it. I mean, he, he, that, that three-year stretch from 08, 07, 08, 09, 010, he was the best player in the league, even though he only won one MVP during that time. And we be, and if he had to beat us in 08, we'll be, we'll be having GOAT discussions about him. But we got in the way, I guess. You know, he was just so obsessed with winning another championship to prove because Shaq had gotten his ring in Miami. I think he would have done anything. Now, he was pacified in his trade demand when they brought in Pau Gasol. But if the, if the Celtics had taken them down two years in a row, had KG not gotten hurt, had Perk not gotten hurt, um, and the Celtics were celebrating back-to-back -back championships, why don't why isn't Kobe revisit maybe getting traded again? Because that was one of the motivating factor. And he, as Paul said, I agree, he was the best player in the league at that point. LeBron was just ascending to that spot. And I think knowing the way Kobe was and his drive, if it wasn't going to get done with the Lakers, he'd have gone somewhere else. And good thing for the history of the Lakers and good thing for Kobe, he did get those two titles. And those Lakers teams that won were great teams. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, and look, you're going to see those games tonight. It's so interesting, especially as you watch the first one on the lineup, his face, his emotions when he finally gets that first title without Shaq. But I want to go the other way in the what-if game, and, Bri and Brian Paul alluded to it. I'm taking away Paul's 2008 title. Sorry, Paul. What if wow. Kobe and the Lakers had not only won the games we're showing tonight, but had won the 2008 finals also? Kobe had been able to pull off what we know had always been a goal of his, right? Winning as many titles as Michael Jordan. Brian, how would that have affected his legacy? Well, it's possible that that team would have gone on a run because, you know, they, they were awesome the next two years. I can't look away from the, tw the two 20-point leads they blew on their home court to the Celtics in that series. One of the games Mr. Pierce had 38 points in L.A., an all-time classic game. But th th that team in 2009 and 2010 was loaded. Lamar Odom was at the top of his game. Yes. Pau Gasol was at a Hall of Fame level. That team absolutely could have won three in a row, but the Celtics were the best team and uh, and they deserved it and I'm not just saying that because Paul Pierce is sitting here right now I, I have no problems <laughs> objecting to Paul's face um, but that Laker team was a spectacular team and they could under other circumstances have won three in a row or more yeah they had a, they had you know the good thing about those teams if, if they beat us in 08 they had a good they had a really good chemistry man the, the way they moved the ball they ran the triangle to perfection and uh you know, what the thing is, they went up against a tough defense. We had one of the all-time defenses, but, man, if they win, then no way. But, see, I look at it the other way. What if KG would have been healthy? What if Perk didn't get hurt? Right. I could be sitting on three championships. <laughs> <laughs> then, then what? <laughs> <laughs> well, Paul, as I said, I don't think you should. I want everyone else in the country to watch tonight. And, Paul, you should watch the first maybe three or four hours of the broadcast. But turn off when you get to that fourth quarter of Game 7 oh, in 2010. No. And the rest of you, I just have two words for you. Ron Artest, take a look, look oh, for, for our guy there because he was sensational in that game as well.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.